Hello everyone, have you ever heard the term called food processing? Maybe yes or not. Don't worry. At the end of this video you will be able to get an idea about what is mean by food processing. The stages of food processing and why we process food. Okay, first, let's see the meaning of food processing. Actually, food processing means conversion of raw agricultural ingredients into food by using set of feasible methods and techniques. The key point is food processing required high-quality raw materials in order to convert them into high-value food products. Next, what about the food processing stages? Do you have any idea? Well, food processing can be divided as primary processing and secondary processing. In primary processing, what we are doing is we are converting raw materials to food commodities to make it saleable and ready to cook or safe to eat. In primary processing, we are doing minimum changes to the physical state of foods. Primary processing methods includes harvesting, cleaning, sorting, grading, milling, packaging weighing and distribution like unit operations. Milling of wheat into flour can be shown as an example for primary food processing. In secondary processing, we convert ingredients into edible products. The methods or techniques utilized to transform primary process food products to other form of food can be identified as secondary food processing. Secondary processing includes mixing, kneading, cooking, canning, baking and fermenting like operations. For further understanding, making of bread, cakes, cookies, crackers, pasta out of wheat flour is good example for secondary food processing. Our next question is why we process foods? What do you think about it? Foods are processed in order to make them safe to consume and edible. We cannot consume food just after harvesting. At least, we need to go through a cleaning process. Because most food may contaminate with mud, dirt, extraneous matters and even with pathogenic microorganisms. So before consume, we have to make sure that those foods are safe for human consumption. So through processing, we ensure foods are safe and healthy for human consumption. Next thing is, food processing helps to enhance shelf life or storage life of food through inhibition of pathogenic microorganisms and other spoilage factors. For instance, think about fresh milk. Can we store raw milk long time at ambient temperature? The answer is we can't. You know that milk is highly perishable and contain more than 80% of water. Due to this high water activity, milk itself is more susceptible to spoilage microorganisms. As a result of that, milk deteriorate very quickly. Instead, by making yogurts, cheese, powdered milk, out of fresh milk can extend their shelf life. The other thing is, Food processing helps to ensure wide choice all year around. This means some foods are seasonal and during their peak harvesting periods huge post-harvest loses can be seen. So during that time we can process that food into other forms and store for off-seasonal periods. For example, we can prepare jam, cordial, ice creams like products out of mango. So during off-season we do not need to worry. Also, we can earn profit through this value addition process. Not only that we can enhance the sensory attributes like color, flavor texture of foods and make it more convenient for busy consumers. It allows consumers to experience and enjoy a wide variety of food items. So up to now you may have some idea about food processing and its importance. Hope you all enjoy the today video, and you may learn something out of it. So if you're willing to see more videos related to food science and technology, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. It will really be helpful to me to bring this kind of videos. Again thank you for watching and we'll meet with another video.